So it's interesting to see wh which one of these bubbles will, uh, will either trigger things or which, which ones are the most dangerous. Um, my view is that the epicenter of the, the bubbles is obviously is government bonds. That's where the problem starts with this extension in duration, these low uh, base rates, artificially low interest rates and stuff. Now, the fact that it's the epicenter of the problem doesn't mean it's the problem itself. Uh, Japan uh, has taught us for decades that you can actually have uh, you know, uh, insane, <laughs> I would say, uh, monetary policy measures and uh, move into regimes that could last for a long time. So it's a widow maker. Uh, the JGB market is a widow maker. Uh, and, and the minute, if you were short JGBs, zero coupon JGBs at 99.99, what was your risk reward? Well, my risk reward was potentially one cent to make, you know, a hundred dollars or a hundred yen. Uh, the minute you go into negative interest rates, it's, it's game over. So. We've really moved into a new world, and, and by left pocket lending the right pocket, this could go pretty much anywhere. The problem becomes the other pockets, and I think what we've seen so far at the time of this interview being, being shot, we've already seen significant trouble in the weaker emerging markets, those that had significant uh, imbalances at the macro level or uh, significant debt in non-local currency. Uh, so we've seen uh, Argentina or Turkey or others. Uh, suffering. We're following a process that is a bit, combines two things, is the domino effect. So the weaker guys go first and they push uh, farther out. But it's also a snowball effect. So the pieces are getting bigger and bigger. Think about the European crisis or, or the Lehman crisis with the smaller banks and eventually getting to a too big to fail moment. Or in Europe with Iceland and Ireland and Portugal eventually getting us to that too big to fail Spain or Italy moment. I think this this crisis is, is the same. You start with the weaker guys falling first and, and dragging along the rest. And uh, I think the big issue, I would say, if uh, there are two main areas that worry me. One is high yield. Uh, this is no precedence of, of this size and scale and, and levels. So that is a, a ticking bomb that uh, could go and, and, and I think will go uh, uh, in, a, in a very nasty way. Um, the second one is, is China. Uh, I think China is, is Lehman squared. Uh, China has uh, you know, been trying to solve structural problems by printing and, and, and borrowing. The, you know, I think this is, they're not really solving problems, they're, they're transforming those problems. And uh, I think this will give into a combination of, of problems alongside a gross devaluation of the Chinese yuan. So, Unfortunately, this is like a, a room full of, of balloons. It's not quite clear which one will go first, but as one balloon goes, it puts a lot of pressure into the others. And I think the mechanism by which this happens is actually through the anti-bubbles and, and uh, implied volatility in, in particular.